how is it going everybody i hope each and every one of you are having a magnificent day thank you all so very very much for stopping by the channel and i hope you um like what you see if you don't comment if you do comment thumbs up you know what to do you do it for everybody so do it for me too please please i beg you but it's a nice warm beautiful day here in hemi bridge north carolina 62 63 degrees kind of sort of they said sunshine uh, i am not too certain about that but hey we'll take anything we can get right it's up to the big man and with all that said today's video is going to be something a little different i've done a video on the 10 things that i would never do to my cars and i went over them again yeah all of them i would never do to any of my cars but it got me to thinking you know you see people all the time asking questions on the forums questions in person you know i have this car that car what should i do to it what would i what would you do if you had this amount of money you know yada 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 so today i'm going to go over 10 maybe 12 mods for the fourth gen camaro now this goes from 93 to 97 most of the mods are interchangeable between each each year but not all of them so you know some years have specific gears that they work some don't mine being a 1993 z28 has very few z28 93 specific parts so i have to settle for 94 to 97. so let's get on with that list of things and um maybe some of the things you'll want to do to your car maybe some of them you want now this list is not going to be in, in in any particular order it's not going to be in any particular category it's just going to be things that i've wanted to do things that i plan on doing things that i know other people have planned on doing and it's just the top mods for this particular body style so let's get on with it now since we're sitting in the car i'll start here and these mods range from cheap to you could do it yourself to more expensive things if you don't feel handy working on your own vehicles or stuff and i understand that some of us can do it some of us can't but um depending on which one you are will be a variation in the pricing and i'm not going to give exact pricing here because number one it depends on the year of your car and if you're capable of doing it yourself but you know you have a car like me i've had this one since i don't know somewhere around 2000 2001 i am very very happy with it and i wouldn't change a thing about it i really wouldn't now with that said you know you get used to things and you're like well if you had it a while you want to change it up you're not satisfied with exactly every particular thing about that car that being said one of the mods of course is stereo equipment i changed mine out i got mine from oh god it, <laughs> it's that when you hear about all the time on on radio tv and everything uh, anyhow i ordered the whole kit from them it came i ordered the, the head unit it came with the wiring harness and it came with the mounting bracket to install it in my car i put the head unit here it's a blah plump blah plump um, city changer it's got a security card in it so if i take this card out then nobody can use this it doesn't matter what they do without that card this will not function pretty cool and then i put some speakers in the cell panels and i put a big sub in the back you know two amps uh one for the cell speakers and one for the to help control the amp so yeah that's number one mod stereo you know if you like listening to tunes rather than the engine sometimes or you want to hear the news or talk radio whatever you want one of the first mods you'll want to do is upgrade your stereo system now another mod since we're sitting in the car uh you got these old halogen i mean incandescent i'm sorry light bulbs here and you've got one back in the back and i haven't changed these yet i've changed them in my other car but i haven't changed them but a very popular cheap mod ten dollars a bulb i think or you can get the kit from uh Di Di diode dynamics they are really the, the leader right now in the led lighting but yeah just switching out the bulbs making them brighter or changing colors because they have different colors putting lighting around the perimeter of your doors or maybe an under dash glow you know in your foot wells you know just to give it a little custom touch you know be and be able to change the colors so that's one of the top mods that everybody likes to do to their camaros the fourth gens and the fifth gens and even the older models but um, there's another quick easy cheap mod all right with that said let's go under the hood for a minute and like i said this is not going to be in, in any particular order now look at this uh, y'all hear me complain i just washed this car the other day and look at this 
all from that road construction. I mean, it's just nasty. And you guys know I don't keep my cars that dirty. God, I hate it. I hate it. But what can I do? Wait for it to be over, right? I'm going to show you the next couple mods under here. And this next mod I'm going to show you is very controversial with a lot of people. Some people swear up and down it has nothing to do with anything. It doesn't help. You're not going to drive your car hard enough to, for it to matter. But I disagree. If you know anything about Camaro construction, it is called a unibody construction. In other words, there's a frame from here to the front. And there's a frame from here to roughly here. Nothing in between. So there's a lot of body flex. There's a lot of body roll. There's, there's a lot of place where you can make it stiffer for going around corners and everything. And this next mod is a strut power brace. There's many dif different ones. BMI makes one. This one being a Hotchkiss. Um, is, uh, God, uh, the other one's escaping me right now. I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, strut tower brace. It, what it does is it stiffens up the load from here to that side of the car. So when you go around the corner and you go around the corner hard, your body doesn't want to roll one way or the other depending on which way you're going around the corner. And like I said, a lot of people say they do nothing but i'm here to tell you that they do immediately upon putting this on my car and yes i have one on this car too this one especially i noticed a huge difference in the way it went around corners the way it turned the way it rode all the above and i know it made a big difference in it and I, I just from the way i drive the car you you can tell the way it does but yeah Strut tower braces, another great mod for your car. It's not real expensive. I think I paid $200 for this one, and then I painted it myself black. It came bright red. I mean, I didn't want a bright red under the car at that time, because at that time I didn't have anything. It was bright red. But with that said, strut tower brace, very popular mod. Another very, very popular mod. This one's a little bit more expensive. This one, for these cars, go around 150 all the way up to 300 bucks. But it is cold air intake. Mine I got from K&N. I ordered it off Summit Racing and What it does it provides more air through your system it clean it um, Provides a colder air for your system and anybody knows that the more air the colder air you can get into your intake The better your car will run the better your car will pass emissions if you have to worry about that and just overall in general run better It idles better sounds better immediately you could tell a deeper richer throw to your tune to your exhaust you really can so yeah cold air intakes another one of those must mods for your Camaro no matter what year it is now this next mod can be a little pricey depending on if you do it in steps or if you do it all at once I did mine all at once but I put an MSD box in it I put MSD wires in it which you can't see because the wires run behind the exhaust manifolds and I put an MSD coil in it which is tucked way down in there, right, right behind all this. You can't see it, but believe me, it's there. And it was a little pricey because the wires were over 100 bucks. The MSD box was 200, and um, the coil was like 69, so that wasn't too bad. But the reason I did it was same reason as the cold air intake: cleaner, better burn. I I took my car and I I had it inspected. And this is when I had to have emissions. And with the age of it right now in North Carolina, I don't have to do it. I saved the paperwork, checked the amounts and everything. I did nothing different. Same everything was in it. Went back the following year. The only thing that was different was I put in the MSD ignition, all those components that I just mentioned, and my car was burning 20% cleaner. Yes, 20%. That's huge. The spark output, you can tell an immediate difference in your throttle response when you do this. You can tell that it's got more power just sitting there ready to go. And uh, that's you know, whenever you're in a performance car, muscle car, pony car, whatever you want to call it, you want more power. It's always better. The more, the better. And in this case, it was simple. It was easy. Everything was plug and play. The hardest part is finding somewhere to mount this. And you can see this is a very good place right here next to the fuse box. I just had to run power around over to that side. And with that said, yeah, another great mod is ignition systems. Great mod. Now, another mod while we're under here, and this is one I have not done yet but I do have it in the future and that is throttle body whenever you do enough mods to your car you will want to increase the size of your throttle body again the more air you get in the, the better the more power you're going to make 
but this has to be done in a certain level because if you just throw a, a larger throttle body on there like I think mine factory is 52 millimeters if you throw a 58 millimeter on there it's just like having too big of a carburetor in the older days it's getting too much air and if it gets too much air and it isn't balanced with the fuel going in then it's not going to run right and there's actually another piece that goes in line on the front of your throttle body and I'll post a picture of it I'll post a picture of all the things I'm talking about that I have not done yet but it's called an air foil and what it does your air goes through the cold air intake and it slams into the front of the throttle body all at one time and the front of this thing is not polished it's got all kind of little divots and holes and stuff well, what the airfoil does is it, it covers the unpolished portion and actually gives it a better slip. Yeah, all right, I'm going to have to apologize right now because my battery died in the GoPro and I, I'm having to use the um, external battery, which means I had to remove the microphone. So I know audio is going to change. It's going to suck and I apologize. But as I was saying, it provides a better easier flow for your air to go in because it's not hitting all those dead spots it goes in a lot slicker a lot smoother which makes you know the easy along with the more airflow you get the easier the airflow goes the better off it's going to be so uh throttle body throttle body uh airfoil and that's pretty much it for that all right let's see one more mod up front and we will be done up here i believe um you know it's along the same lines as the stereo system and everything you know you get used to the way your car rides gets used to the way it sounds and eventually you'll start wanting more power uh, more beefier sound so one of the next mods is along the lines of um, headers <laughs> um, exhaust headers and what that will do replaces all this old smog crap and the way it's all bent up and everything provides a smoother flow for the air to get out yep you're getting the common theme here airflow the better flow for the air going in the better flow for the air going out the better your car is going to run the more power it's going to make and um but you can get these in some of the cars some of the makers actually make models that still have the smog stuff this being a 93 they do not have them the first year that they have them with the smog stuff is 94 and it is completely set in a different place and i don't even know if i can make it work um, I haven't tried it yet, but the headers are on the list of things to do for this car. I've done them on that one. I have not done them on this one, but they are coming. This one, I'm going to go full length. They have three different types. They have shorties. They have mid-lengths, which go, I don't know, almost completely out of the car. And then they go into a Y-pipe and then into your factory exhaust. And then they have long tube, which go completely all the way through. Long tube is where you're going to get your best gains from. You're going to get your most power, your most... Um, scavenging effect for the airflow coming out and over better overall performance so yes another very popular mod for your car is headers and i don't know some people say you pay for what you get pace setter seems to be the leader right now and for this car in particular cooks is a very well very good setup but they're a thousand dollars just for the headers for this car and then another 500 for their y pipe you can't use anybody else's Y pipe. You got to use theirs. So, but yeah, headers is the next great mod that I plan on doing this car and one that I strongly recommend for you. Well worth the money, especially if you're after more sound, more performance. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, one last thing while we're up here. Now, doing all these airflow changes and everything, your computer is programmed to handle so much air, so much fuel, okay? And it has built-in safety parameters to help keep it from detonating and blowing up and all that stuff. But after you go so far in your bolt-ons, like the headers, the cold air intake, the exhaust, yada, 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 you'll, you'll want to get what's called a tune for your car. And there's um, some great people out there that do it on the internet. One of them on the Gen 5 forum is called Dino Steve. Um, I haven't used him yet. I'm planning on using him. They say he's real good. But there's also another company called PCM for Less. And there's two ways you can do it, deal with them. But basically, all you're doing is reprogramming your computer. That's basically all you're doing. That's what that is right there. You're reprogramming that to handle the airflow that you're providing with this thing better and the more fuel. Because, um, believe me, once you get it cranking, it'll, it'll be too much for the stock settings to handle. It'll still run. But you're putting um, 
by this time if you've done every mod that i've said you've got a couple grand in it now and you don't want to be just wasting that money because you're not taking full advantage of it all right since we're on the outside of the car let's cover a couple things out here now i like the style of my original z28 wheels i do i like the stance but let's cover something that i've done to this car i have put what's called lowering springs on this vehicle to close this gap down because it used to be pretty significant but i put lowering springs on this vehicle and what that does it provides a stiffer rate so when you go around corners and uh, just like this the uh, strut tower blade brace it doesn't want to roll as much so when you go around the corner it stays planted and you can get around the corner quicker and better well along that same lines is the the springs so that's another quick um great easy mod now there, again there's other companies out there i use hot skis for this one um it lowered the car about an inch and a half and i can't complain about it i love it it's stiffened the ride up a little bit it's a little stiffer but that's okay you know if i was ex after a luxury car ride i would buy a luxury car right so that's another great mod is um lowering springs or performance st uh, springs and while we're down here low again looking at this factory wheels i love the factory wheels but i am planning on changing them up these they come stock with 16 inches the wheels that i'm wanting to get it's very hard to find 16 inch wheels i am actually going to be going to 17 inch wheels that come off of a z06 corvette and i'll put a picture in the end of the video so you can see what i'm talking about and it will totally change the outside way of this vehicle looks and that's what we're all you know that's what we're after you know you get used to something and you get used to it so long just like personal stuff you know you got a set of shoes that you wear a pair of shoes that you wear well after so long you know you want a different pair you're used to the way they look and you're used to the way they feel you want something a little dressier a little sportier or, you know whatever so yeah another great mod for your your car now this one is a little bit more pricey because in this circumstance these being 16s and i'm going up to 17s i am going to have to buy more tires and i just bought these these haven't been on the car but just a couple months but that's okay i'll put them in the in the building and save them and i might switch back who knows but another great mod for your car is wheels and tires another great mod for the fourth gen camaro that a lot of people like to do now if you look at it you know it's a very nice looking car i love the way it looks but back here on the booty yes i said it booty <laughs> i would like for this to be a little taller i'm not sure if i'm going to i don't i don't know if i'm gonna put the three piece rs spoiler on it what it has it has a short piece here and it angles up then there's a long piece that goes across here ah bird crap i gotta wash my cars look at that dust i was telling you about and it curves up and then there's another piece that comes over here or i'm thinking about going with the ss model and what it has it kind of has like a duck bill it raises up right here goes across and goes back down and it kicks up ever so slightly i'm thinking about going that route but one of the things you can change on the rear end of your car another great mod is just changing the spoiler it makes the car look totally different now since we're talking about changing the way the vehicle looks let's just stay on that for just a second and they have i don't know they call them body kits some of them call them aero packages whatever you want to call it i don't care let's just stick with ground effects bringing the rocker panel down a little lower makes the ride height seem lower you know which makes the car look like it's setting closer to the ground which makes it have a more aggressive stance which makes it look meaner and then you have the front splitter area that, you know that goes all the way around that continues with the body package going down the side number one it creates a better airflow for the car to go through the air hold on a second thank you it creates a better flow of air going around and under your vehicle which gives you better gas mileage because you're not fighting the wind as much makes the car look a lot cooler makes the car look a lot more personalized so yeah ground effects aero package whatever you want to call it body kits i don't care all the above will totally change the way the car looks now the only thing about this they only come in 
unpainted or black and that means if you want it to match your car you're gonna have to pay a body shop to paint it so that's where a little bit more of the cost comes in that's why i saved this one more toward the last because it's it's a kind of pricey investment you know six hundred dollars for the front and side kit and then you got to get it painted but yet that's another great mod for your car another great mod for your car and this is actually one of the first ones that many people do um it has another thing to do with airflow <laughs> but uh yeah axle back or in my case cat back exhaust systems and what that entails is new muffler three inch exhaust pipes and it's hard for you to see from here but i got three inch all the way up to my catalytic converter flow most flow master system sounds real good i'll put a clip in so you can hear it changes the way it sounds changes the way it, everybody looks at the car because you can hear me coming and i constantly get people looking at me as i come and um yeah it's just one of those personal mods you know and the more things we do to our cars the more personal it becomes the funner it is you know the more it becomes part of us but yeah axle back is the most popular i did a cat back because i knew i was going to be changing into headers eventually another great mod for your fourth gen camaro now i guess you're wondering why i'm down here on the ground yeah well i'm going to just dis discuss another mod with you uh and what it's called is lower control arms as part of the suspension let me sit up for a second so i can explain it lower control arms what it does is whenever you get on the gas you take off real hard if you have enough power it, your tires will not want to make contact with the ground it'll actually want to hop it's called wheel hop and what that is is a cheap flimsy lower control arms they're not solid they're they're hollow and i'll post pictures you know as we go along talking about all this stuff um so what they do is they flex they bend they twist and that's, that's what causes the wheel hop so another great low uh cheap mod actually you can get them for 89 to 130 dollars depending on which ones you want is lower control arms they come with polyurethane bushings so they're, they're stiffer there they're beefier there but they're solid all the way well they're not solid they're solid pipe but they got a hollow core but they just stiffen up the rear end and and they actually get rid of the wheel hop so yeah lower control arms is another great mod and i actually have some on order for this should be here soon so stay tuned for that video now while we're still down here looking underneath the car i figured i'd give you this mod and what this one is is called a pannard rod or pan hard rod whatever you want to call it but it, 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 it laying on my side i can't think so good let me adjust this camera too hold on there we go uh what the panard rod does is this rod right here that goes from one side all the way over to the other side and it locates the suspension from side to side like i said this is a unibody so as you go around the corners your suspension will want to go this way or that way and the panard rod ties in up high to the rear axle and it prevents it from doing all that motion but also what it does if you have a lowered car if you look at the tires the way they stick out right let's go over to the other side so i can show you if that is uneven with a panhard rod panhard panhard however you want to call it rod you can adjust that side to side so that you have your rear end your drive line running in a straight line because if it's off center or anything you can pick up vibrations you get the wheel hop the wheel hop can be accentuated because it's not in proper alignment and all that good stuff so if you do a panard rod i strongly suggest going with the adjustable one to where you can adjust it side to side especially if you're going with lowering springs because the uh, standard one as you lower it, it'll want to push the rear end over that way because it's a solid rod Whereas if you get the adjustable one, you can pull it in or push it out, whichever way you need to go. So, um, yeah. And while I'm talking about that, there's also another rod, which I'm not going to crawl on there and show you. But it's called a torque arm. And I'll put the picture in here. And what that does, along the same lines, it's stiffer than the factory one. It provides a solid location to the side of your transmission. 
keeps everything in a straight line keeps it located and you can actually like if you lower your car if you get the adjustable one you can get the pinion angle set just right so there's no bind or anything on your drive line so that's a you know i guess you call this mod basically suspension mod no big deal but uh the better suspension you have the better your car is going to ride the better it's going to take off the line if you race your car in you track your car in it you will definitely want to do suspension mods to your car now this one is another mod that is kind of one of those things that you don't have to do the factory ones are just fine and dandy but another great mod that everybody likes to do is update the brakes i actually am planning fixing to do a brake line um mod on my car i'll do a video on it what i'm doing is i'm going from the factory rubber um brake lines and going to stainless steel braided lines and the reason i'm going to be doing that is because you know when it gets aged this is a 1993 this is all original equipment on this car when you press on the brakes the rubber ones will give every so, ever so slightly just a little bit of because you're pressing on it, and all that pressure's got to go somewhere and it's just going through a little tiny hole to engage your brakes so over time they will get spongy okay and by changing out the brake lines it won't allow the brake line to flex if you will and then some people change the pistons they rather than having single pistons they want dual pistons in some case three pistons well if you do that you got to get bigger wheels to allow for that but i'm not doing that i'm going to be changing out the calipers putting on new calipers all the way around changing out the brake lines and putting on new brake fluid in i'm going to be um completely redoing the brake fluid in the whole system that will get rid of the brake fade that will get rid of the sponginess and the pedal and it'll actually make your car safer you know so uh, another mod people do to these cars is their brake systems and i will actually be changing out the rotors and i haven't driven this one in a while so i got a little bit of rust build up on it from it just sitting here but i'm going to be going i don't know if i'm gonna go with cross drilled and slotted or just slotted i'm not certain yet i'll probably do both just for looks because i'm gonna have the wheels that's gonna to have the spokes you know and you'll be able to see in here real good and everything so i'll be painting my calipers and i'm going to be replacing the rotors so basically another great mod is modding your brakes all right let's see i think that's 10. let's go for one more why not uh here's a mod that i haven't done to the red car but i have done to the black car if you look at the side hello you can see in it you can see all the way through it right well i guess by now you know what the next mod is window tents yep the side windows on this is 35 so you can see through with the light just right but if you're just standing here like a regular person you can't see squat in there right and again i apologize for my car being so dirty if you get right up on it you can see in it but that's it i mean that you can't see anything else and with this being a black car it just adds to the, the, the mean look that it has and then it oh you know it's also a safety feature you got stuff sitting in your car or you're in your car you know minding your own business you don't need or want people looking in there seeing what you're doing so it's uh, also like a privacy thing right Plus, it helps keep your plastic from fading. It helps keep your interior from fading, all your cloth. Anything back in the back, it keeps it from getting messed up from the heat and sunlight and all that stuff. So, why not? <laughs> it doesn't cost that much. Uh, two to three hundred bucks. Depending on if, you, on if you know somebody that's real good. I think I got mine done for 150. Some people charge more, some people charge less. I have had mine in there for quite a few years now and haven't had an issue, so I feel pretty lucky about mine. So yeah, window tinting. You can go darker, you can go lighter, whatever your choice desires. You can get color tint, mirror tint, whatever is legal in your area. That's what I recommend. But um, it's another great mod, great cheap, easy mod, and it's something you don't even have to do. Pay somebody to do it. So why not? <laughs> but yeah, window tint. All right, one last time I am crawling under the car. So, oops, sorry so that you can see this one of the weak spots or the weak spot on a fourth gen camaro is the rear end there's a lot of flex in it there's a lot of cheap parts in it so what you can get is called uh, got a, a rear girdle cover 
And what it is, and like I said, I'll have pictures. Let me just sit here and see. It's a cover that goes over your rear end, replaces the factory um, cover. But the difference with this, and like I said, you'll see it in the photos. The difference with this, there's two threaded studs that have caps on the inside. And what you do is, and this is, you may not want to do this one yourself because it's a little messy because you got to take the old one off. Then you have to, which means you're draining the fluid out of it. And that stuff stinks. Trust me, it stinks to high heaven. You will remember this smell and taste the smell if you do it yourself for a week, I guarantee it. But um, you'll have to take the old one off, drain the oil or rear end grease, uh, rear end lube, oil. Uh, put the cover on, tighten it down. It's got locking nuts. You want to screw it in, and you can look it up. There's a lot of YouTube videos on it. But basically, you're screwing it into the cap. Just make contact with the, the bearings in the rear end. The bearings in the rear end, and then you, you tighten down the locking nut. Some people put silicone on the locking nut and the thread so that the rear end grease won't come out. Some people complain that they leak. I don't know if they do or not. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. <laughs> but that's a great cheap easy mod that you can do in any group all these things can be done in anybody's yard except for the body painting and some people have can have done it and do do it in their yards but i'm not one of those guys if i'm gonna be doing any painting on my cars it's gonna be done professional unless it's under the hood you know something small that i can do or brake calipers but um yeah all these things can be done at your house You're, you can do them most of them yourself if you're handy if you're not well then i'm sorry you're gonna to have to pay somebody to do it but that is uh, i think 12 of the best mods that you can do to your fourth gen camaro and i can't really think of much more outside of totally changing the body color changing the interior which like i said i'm going another great mod that you can do i think this takes it up to 13 i really didn't discuss it is seats i'm going to be putting racing seats in this one just because these are old and it's and i got one little tear right there and um but for them to be 1993 they have held up real good they got real good support but just for giggles i'm going to be replacing the carpet in it and i'm going to be putting in racing seats and not the the real expensive ones and they're going to be the middle of the road but they're not going to be they're going to be adjustable because i want to be able to use the adjustability of it now whether i keep the the electric part of it or not i don't know i might just go with the manual slide i don't really see the use in the electric i'm the only one that really drives it the wife don't drive it that much so but just to change up the interior a little bit i figured what the hell uh, i'll do it you know cheap enough why not something different but that being said that's all the minds that i can think of right now for you guys if you can think of any post them below i'd like to know your thoughts on what you're going to do to your car or things that you're planning on doing it want to do to it or have done to it and uh god that's pretty much all of them that i can think of but um i would like to thank each and every one of you for sticking around to the end of this video it is greatly appreciated and you know what to do if you like the video give it a thumbs up youtube's really cracking down on stuff and their algorithm the more views it gets the more thumbs up it gets the more likes it gets the more it is seen in search engines and stuff if you will and the more it pops up whenever you type in a search like fourth gen mods well if this one doesn't have the likes or it doesn't have the views or the thumbs up it might be 20th or 30th down on the list it might be on page 30 i don't know but the more views and everything it gets the higher up the list it is so you know i greatly appreciate any and all help you i can get from you i truly thank each and every one of you for stopping by and watching this video and if you made it this far Thank you very much. You guys have a great day out there and we'll see you next video.